Hi, thanks for tuning in to Ben Smoking. Uh, we're almost to the Dia de los Muertos, uh, the Day of the Dead celebration, and we found a coffee that matches that theme. It is the Dolce Dolce uh, flavoring, and I'm pretty excited to try this out. It is a, a pre ground coffee, so we don't get to do the cool grinding for it, but it's still nice to have a festive coffee and to match the coffee we got our Los Calaveras cigars we got the 2022 and the 2024 these have totally different blends uh, this one is provided by Peter with the Cigar Collective and this one the 2024 is from our buddy Lawrence the Stogie Brody so we got the Los Calaveras 2022. This is the LC46. Uh, Corona, Corona Gorda. I really like the band. And the classic crown heads foot band. I'm gonna give it a cut in the light. So this is a uh, Nicaraguan Pearl. It got a uh, Nicaraguan Corojo 99 wrapper. Binder and filler from Nicaragua. This was rolled by my father's cigars. So, so off the bat, this is very peppery. Not too bad off the retro hail though. Um, it's not too strong, but definitely a lot of Nicaraguan tobacco all the way through. I think the Corojo gave it a little bit of sweetness. Let's see how it pairs with the coffee. The saltiness is a very prevalent note in this coffee. Uh, it does lighten up the pepper. Um, pretty, pretty nice. So this cigar is screaming bold, very bold. Uh, not overpowering, but heavy pepper. The burn line's a little crazy, but it's got a solid ash. It's very peppery, but it's not burning my sinus. It's not too strong. Should have did that the other way. Uh, but the retro doesn't hurt. It just, it is strong pepper. I'm glad this thing has a decent amount of age. Thank you, Peter, for doing that work and for setting it out. Probably gonna have to touch this up, but pretty good cigar. This retro is for you, JB. I don't know if you can see it. Let me try it one more time. Uh, pretty pungent pepper. Very good, strong Nicaraguan flavors, not high nicotine. You can see you got the crown, super cool.
So the pepper is still pretty strong. Not a strong cigar though. Very nice. Uh, it's mellowing out a little bit in the second third. Either that or I'm getting a little numb from the heavy pepper. But I'm liking this cigar. It's a good cigar for sure. Not something I would normally pick for myself, but I'm thinking I gotta get more of these. So underneath the pepper, the black pepper, I'm getting walnut. Walnut and leather. This is pretty complex. Definitely mostly a pepper bomb, but it's got the really nice nuance of that. It's not a cedar, it's not an oak, but a walnut and leather. So getting into the final third, this thing has mellowed out quite a bit. Um, I am liking it more and more. It's very rewarding when it's a crescendo cigar. So it is very well blended. This thing got the black pepper. The leather is picking up more. The walnut is just very lightly still there, but it's mostly pepper and leather, but it is quite delicious. Still sing, stings the sinus a little bit. But it's got a really nice ash. A little wavy burn line. That's a great smoke. The coffee definitely is helping with the leveling out of the pepper, but it, the cigar has mellowed out quite a bit too. Very nice combo. I'm gonna go ahead and rate it an A tier. This is a great Nicaraguan cigar. Not too strong nicotine and the pepper spice is done just right. This has a great amount of age on it and very delicious all the way through. I'm excited to compare it to the 2024. We got round two. Thank you, Lawrence. 2024 Robusto. Okay. Well, definitely, it's good to take some time to appreciate family and friends and influences and those that have gotten us here 
and those that aren't here anymore. And that's a lot of what is behind this line. I'll definitely want to give that moment an honor and meditation for what Dia de los Muertos is about. Thank you. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a like. So this is a Nicaraguan Habano, Nicaraguan binder, Nicaraguan filler, another Nicaraguan portal. Off the bat, less pepper bomb bold than the 2022. Medium pepper, spicy, a little bit leathery, a little bit of cedar. Great draw, great smoke output. Pretty freaking cool looking band. Thank you, Stogie Brody Lawrence. Very enjoyable. Got coffee. So that saltiness on that blend of coffee is very interesting. Like you can feel and taste the salt crystals in there. Like it's not just saltiness, like there's texture to the coffee. <coughs> Peppery. It's less than black pepper, red pepper spice on the retro hail. Caught me off guard a little bit. I think because there's so much smoke. Good, you got the cool crown. bit wavy burn line but we'll see if it corrects if we need to touch it up it's not too strong on the retro hail just got a lot of spice Of course, getting strong coffee note because I'm pairing with coffee. But there is a leathery note. Cedar. less bold than the 
but still really good and it's a brand new cigar not a crazy amount of age on it So we lost the ash. I was just about to take the picture, but. Got a great draw. I am noticing that it's less of a memorable cigar than the 2022 was. Those notes were just so well-defined within a great blend this one is still really nice but I'm leaning towards the 2022 so we're done with the second third it's a nice Nicaraguan Not too bold. Uh, kind of linear. But it's still very enjoyable. Pretty good. So, we're done. Great construction all the way through. Not too strong. Great pepper. A little bit of leather, cedar. I'm gonna rate it a B tier. I would definitely wanna smoke this again. for the celebration of Dia de los Muertes, the skulls. <laughs>